Hello, my name is Desiree Knowles, and today I'll be presenting about the Hawaiian Emperor Seamount Chain. So today we're going to cover the location and age, the history, and the importance of this chain. The Hawaiian Emperor Seamount Chain is located in the Northwest Pacific Ocean, specifically with a latitude of 18 degrees north and a longitude of negative 155 degrees west. This chain is um, divided into three separate parts. The first um, being the islands making up the U.S. state of Hawaii with the age of 400,000 years old to 5.1 million years old. The second part is the Northwestern Hawaiian Islands, which are commonly referred to as the Leeward Isles. And those date from 7.2 million years old to 27.7 million years old. And the last part of the chain, which is also the eldest, is the Emperor Seamounts, which age from 39 to 85 million years old. So here we can see the full layout of the Hawaiian Emperor um, Seamount chain with the beginning of it starting with the Detroit Seamount. And then these are the Emperor Seamounts. And then we have a distinct 60 degree um, bend on um, which we are going to discuss um, its origin in a few minutes. And then we have the Leeward Isles and then at the very base, the youngest part, which are the Hawaiian Islands. So we go from oldest to youngest. So from dating the um, the first um, located seamount, the Detroit Seamount, we um, came up with an age for the Hawaiian Emperor Seamount chain, which is 81 million years old. And as I was saying just a few minutes ago, um, there is a distinct bend in, bend in this chain, which is a 60 degrees bend. And there are two hypotheses regarding how that bend um, originated. The first being that the bend um, was caused by um, the Northwestern uh, motion of the um, Pacific plate. And then the second hypothesis is a little bit more in depth and it um, is regarding um, hot spot, um, how the hot spot caused the bend on its own um, due to um, mantle circulation um, changing the movement of the hot spot along um, the, the crust. So um, this, this second hypothesis um, was formed from analyzing the paleomagnetism of magnetite found in ancient lava flows from four different seamounts. And when looking at the latitudes recorded by the orientation of the magnetic, of the magnetic field within the uh, magnetite um, that were sampled from the four different seamounts, um, the latitudes of these magnetic fields are not all um, constant. They actually go from a northern to a um, southern direction, um, which is some evidence that the that mantle circulation is what caused um, the hot spot to move, creating this distinct bend in the chain. It's important to recognize and at least learn a little bit about the Hawaiian Emperor Seamount chain um, because it provides further insight on how hot spot and tectonic plate motion um, can affect each other um, because mantle movement um, is what causes tectonic plate movement and also hot spot movement. So mantle plumes are what affect hot spots as well as specific plates. And further 
understanding the formation of the um, um the Hawaiian emperor chain is important since it allows us to interpret and understand hotspot movement and alongside tectonic plate movement at a deeper level and how certain um volcan volcanic um, chains and islands are formed within the ocean and it provides further insight on also um, dismantles circulation itself and ancient um, patterns within um, the mantle. Recently, a, a new island has been discovered about four years ago. And hopefully by the time that that island um, is no longer submerged by the ocean, the debate on how the bend was formed will um, reach a conclusion and we will further understand uh, mantle circulation and Pacific plate motion alongside hot spot motion. So just to summarize um, what we went over today, we covered um, the location and age of the Hawaiian Emperor Seamount chain, its um, overall shape, and the hypothesis leading to how that shape was formed, the two different hypotheses. And we summarize the importance of this chain and why it's important to understand hotspot and um, tectonic plate motion. And hopefully, um, this was a good introduction to the Hawaiian Emperor Seamount chain. Thank you so much for watching.